Afternoon Cactus people, it's a lovely October afternoon and we're taking the less windy opportunity to um, have a look outside the cactus house today. So down here, normally this is full of the succulents, uh, aeoniums and things that um, spend the outside, spend the summer outside here, uh, but most of them gone in for the, the winter now. But this bed here is basically it's raised um, up it's just some railway sleepers with some sand and gravel in uh, the only humus that goes into it is the um, compost around the plant roots that are put in so apart from that it's very well drained and this is my outside cactus bed so most of the plants uh, or some of the plants are experimental uh, most of the ones you see here, the uh, usual suspects of sempervivums and uh, sedums have been out um, in all weathers, as has the um, Apuntia humifusa. This has been out in snow, rain, thunder, all sorts for about four years now, and um, it's not grown anywhere near as much as um, the ones inside. Well, I don't know, it's put on a few pads this summer. Um, he's growing sideways rather than up, uh, but he's fine. He's, um, he's not flowered yet, but he might flower soon. Uh, but I've got a picture of him somewhere in four inches of snow out here, so he's quite happy. But this year I've added uh, some other ones that might do okay outside. The uh, Puntia polyacantha. Uh, this is the first season outside for these, what I'm just about to tell you. And the Apuntia fragilis, and this one, the Oreocerius celsianus, which um, I've only put a small specimen out because uh, I don't want to uh, risk losing a bigger one. But from what I've read, these can survive down to uh, quite deep minus temperatures, so uh, as long as they're well drained. So uh, if that one works, then. We might, at a later stage, risk a, a bigger specimen out like this one over here, which would be nice. But uh, I don't really want to put a specimen that size out, just for an experiment. So. And this one, which, uh, bear with me on the pronunciation, which I'll probably get wrong, uh, Yapacan or Apuntia stricta. My friend Silver will probably uh, tell me the proper pronunciation on that one. Uh, this apparently can go down to minus 18, which uh, is probably reasonably extreme for a Kentish winter, but not totally unknown, I would, would imagine. Uh, so we'll see how that one does. It's put on um, a new pad since it was put out a few months ago. And again, it's got the sideways habit, it's rooted where it's touched the uh, surface there. Uh, this one... The Puntia Quimillo might not survive. I did have one out here um, a few years ago which um, was doing okay until it was attacked by partridges and then slugs. Uh, so it might not have been the weather that it did for it. It might have just been uh, the fact that it got eaten. So um, we'll, we'll try. I'm trying another small one out here just to see how it does. Uh, if I do lose it, I've got plenty more um, small ones of those. And this is one of our few native succulents which uh, grows all around the coast. It's, um, I've got the name of Samphire, um, rock Samphire as opposed to marsh Samphire, which is totally unrelated. Uh, it's an umbellifer, it tastes of um, fennel, smells of fennel, and it's got thick um, fleshy fennel-like leaves on it. Uh, so it grows all around the British coast, um, quite nice bushy plants, it doesn't seem to need a lot of soil. Uh, but this is one of two plants I've got left that I grew from seed, and we actually got the seed from Samphire Ho, which was a coincidence. Um, but what I found is the slugs love it, they absolutely devastate the plants, which could be why it doesn't grow, uh, or it hasn't been taken into cultivation in um, gardens in the UK. Uh, it's a lovely little plant, yellow flowers. Uh, but we'll see how it does up, up here, so it's the, I've got a smaller one inside that the slugs have already had uh, is still alive and the leaves are just coming back from it, but this is the only one that's uh, actually grown to any size, uh, so we'll see how that does. 
the uh, Semper Vivum Big Sam, which uh, does very well outside. And this one is a Cristate Sedum, which um, I've tried cultivating in pots, and it just doesn't like being in pots. And when you throw it out, it uh, grows quite happily in uh, any sort of rubbish. So uh, I'll just leave that to grow where it wants now, rather than trying to cultivate it. But, uh, you can see a bit of it that's reverted next to it, back to normal sedum. So uh, there we have it. I did plant some other um, cacti from seed that I was hoping to put out here, but the seed hasn't come up, so uh, we should keep an eye open for possible hardy ones. If we get a long period of rain, then I'll probably cover the uh, the bed over to keep some of the rain off it, but uh, apart from that, it's going to be out in all sorts of weather. So we'll see how it do does. And I'll report again um, after the winter, see what's left. Hopefully everything, but you never know. Thanks very much for watching today. I'll see you in the next video.